I'm gonna play everything, I'm gonna say everything only once, so try to listen carefully and if you want just pause the video, zoom in, so if it helps. I'm on the 4th fret, sorry, on the 4th string, 8th fret, and then I play the 10th um, fret on the 3rd string, and then I play the 11th fret on the 2nd string, and then I come back to the 3rd string, but now I play the 8th fret instead. So, so what I do is I keep the eighth fret ready here with, with here. So when I'm playing, the, so I just lift this finger up. So from ten it becomes eight, and then I come to the sixth fret on the first, second, and the third string, and I play this three, two, and one. Third, second, third, second, and the first string. And then I play the 3rd, 2nd and the 1st string again, but changing a fret on the 3rd string. So I move back this fret from 6 to 5. That's it. Okay, the next part. This part people like to play on chords, but I kind of feel that this is actually played on power chords and not on the rhythm guitar. So what you might be seeing people uh, doing with this part is it sounds legit, like sounds okay. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's the same chords, but. Um, I have a strong feeling that this part is actually meant for mute plucking on power chords. So I'll do this this way. I'll play the 5th fret open. And then I'll come back to the 6th fret on the 1, 2 and 3. We just did this. So, 5. And then I play the 2nd string. And the 1st string. And now the 3rd and 2nd together. So. And I come to this shape now, it's 6th um, fret on the 4th string, 5th fret on the 3rd string, 6th fret on the 2nd string and the 4th fret on the 1st string. Should, should sound something like this. So, so I played the 3rd and 4th string together, 2nd string, 1st and then the 3rd string. If you want, you can add a second and one again. But if you don't, it will sound like this. If you add two more notes, like it will sound like this. So. D minor, the next part. Fourth, uh, so I'll play fourth string, third string. 1 and 2 together and then the 3rd and 2nd together I'm doing all this while holding the D minor and then E play E chord with the 4th, 2nd and the 3rd strings you can add a couple of notes after the E any of those but while holding E you can just play any 2 or 3 strings to fill it, fill it up so I just played 2, 1 and 3. If this is done, like if you want to play it on the rhythm, you can still do that with the uh, strumming like... It doesn't have to be this exact strumming, you can do anything else. A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, come back to D minor. If you want to do, do a different strumming, so you're free to do, to do that. It's um, there's not never a same. There's never one strumming for the whole song. So you you might want to try something like. Coming back to the chorus of the song. A minor, 
E minor, D minor, and E. Is it the same same chords? Um, using the same strum, and also it's a little different. So. If you want, you can try uh, watching a few other lessons on YouTube to figure out the strumming because I don't want to spend much time on the strumming pattern. Although I'll play it more slowly for you, so if you can figure it out. If not, just go ahead and try something on yourself. I mean, it's something that you learn over the time. It's not a big deal. What I want to focus on is the chords and the notes, which are more important. I mean, like the rhythm, you can work on it, but the notes, you gotta play them right. So, um. I play mute strumming, so if you played songs like Allah Ke Bande, you might be familiar with the concept concept of uh, strum palm muting. Again, it's something you get with time. You don't have to do that. If you can still play it without the palm muting. A minor, E minor, D minor, and then back to E minor. Okay, coming back to the next part, it goes like. I give half a bar to each chord, A minor. full bar on F and then half and half bar on D minor and E and then back to A minor. The strum that I just used was down, 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 down and I split it in between two chords so say, say this is called one and this is called two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to slow down, down. If you move ahead from this, there's a part that says A minor, E minor, back to A minor, E minor, G, and then twice on F, and then back to E. So how you fill it up is, um, you can use the same strumming if you want. So yeah, I was using the same strum that I talked about earlier in the video. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It doesn't have to be the same strum. You can try something that fits the rhythm. Anything that fits the groove of the song. sing this part I haven't heard the song a lot of times so pardon me if I'm doing something wrong in terms of singing you come to A minor G and an F and you're ready for the chorus to come back all right let me know if there's anything that I can help you with if there's something that's not clear and um, good luck working on it let me know how it was and if you like it just click click on like and subscribe so i can make more videos